Suppose this is a walrus gut. It's round. Or seal gut. It's a whole roll. What you're doing is uh, the hunter came and you're going to work on this tomorrow. You leave it out in the shed overnight. And in the morning, you bring it inside. And you wait until it's thawed. If it's not quite thawed out, you'll wait until the next day. It may have walrus or seal smell. And then you, and it's all thawed out. What you're doing is first, you're gonna, this is called makata. You're gonna get that stuff from the inside out. You have a, a maybe you'll, you'll, you can use a small box and put trash bag in there, small white trash bag. And you put the whole thing in there. And you have a nut mixing bowl right here. You're going like this. And that stuff is coming out. And when it's all done, you close that up and throw it away. And you already have a water. You might want to rinse it. And then do another, do it again. Rinse it and then next time go to. And it, that's the, whatever is left in there is coming out. And when you're soaking them, you're supposed to, there's supposed to be cold, cold water there, almost to the red, almost to the top. Mm -hmm. we'll Make that. sure there's water in there and some snow. Yeah. Yeah. So because this water has to be ice cold, that's natural way of getting rid of the smell. Well, um, I'm taking out intestine, seal intestine. And you have to peel it away from the membrane. And then after you peel it from the membrane, then you can snip your piece off. And then after this, we're going to go rinse them out and clean them. Yeah. Yeah. My nose. This is a nice big one. Mm. So I'm just rinsing out this little piece of um, intestine, rinsing um, rinsing out the inside of it so that when we did flush it, it won't have any um, debris in the, in, the, um, in the inside here. So, so we're just um, letting the water stream through the intestine until it runs clear. There's nothing else coming out. Going off some of the um, membrane on the edge there so it can flow freely. I think we should flip them over. Mm -hmm. You know, I, this is the first time I've ever experienced a harbor seal. The bearded seal that I've done in the past is much larger. You can actually put a, I would rinse it outside with a garden hose and you could actually stretch it over the garden hose. It's much easier to, um, to clean, I think. The first seal intestine I did was actually a, a wash up. Um, so it smelled a little bit like this, but it, um, it was a fresh wash up and, um, onto the beach and we, um, my brother-in-law and I were out there pulling out the intestine of the seal. Well, I think that's what's so beautiful about, the, you know, many indigenous cultures is their connection to every part, um, of, you know, of nature, of, of the animal, um, you know, even of plants, and um, they're, sorry, <laughs> splattering you. <laughs> um, I really feel like, um, you know, every, every piece of the animal was, was used, and I think that that's something that's really beautiful. And listening to Elaine speak about 
you know, making an object and having this connection to it and how, you know, you put a part of yourself into something. I think that in, in this day and age, it's really hard. That isn't, um, you know, we're a uh, mass media culture, a lot of um, Western culture, and it's unfortunate that, you know, we've lost this connection to, to the land, to, to the animals. We just go to the store and buy them. We don't understand, you know, how important it is. And um, that's one thing I'm very proud of, and I think most Alaska Native people are, is that we're still, we still have this strong relationship with, um, you know, the, the animals that feed us and the land that, you know, um, that feeds our soul and, and our body. I think we're done. The scraper for gut, it's either, it, it was, they're usually made out of walrus uh, tusk, and they're called ovik, ovik, scraper for the nacht. When you're ready to scrape them, this is the outer part. We start from this time. You go. You turn it around and make sure you get the end. And because they're made, you don't want them. And then you turn it around and you start again. Go ahead and do the whole thing to the very end. And to the outer part is all clean. Then you turn it inside out. And then there's usually round thing that we find. They're called uskosa. You know they're very walrus whole intestines is so long and if you're trying to turn it inside out it's gonna take you forever. Mm -hmm. One time my uh I found a rock, it was super round like a yolk, a little bit bigger than a yolk. I brought it home and I said, wow, look at this, and the elder seen it, and are you serious? You don't know what it is? And I said, no, you have no idea what it's for. And no, it's a tool, it's a woman's tool. It's a, you put it in the, this way, and you put it in there, and when you go like that, you're going to, it's, it was called Uskosek. Ushta means turn it inside out. And then you go ahead and do the same thing again. Might want to turn it this way this time. Make sure it's all clean. And then you go around and you do this. You do this part and then you turn it around and do that part. And then they're all clean. And then you're just left with the um, middle line. Yeah, and you're when you're like, like this, you almost do yeah. Yeah. like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now it's your, you already have your water, mm -hmm. and then there's your bucket. Mm -hmm. And then you put that in there. Mm -hmm. You might want to rinse them okay. in there when you're on. If you put another one, you do that same thing. Mm -hmm. You after rinse you it. Them. Yeah, after you okay. rinse them. Mm -hmm. And then throw away the water. You could do it again because they're long. When you long do that, time. even though you scrape them, that uh, if you do that, some of the blood vessels, blood's going to come out. Mm -hmm. okay. So it will turn. If your water turned a little bit colored, you might want to switch. Do the same thing again. I told you, you might want to start from this side.
see the outer liner is coming out. See, I'm already done. and this the outer part of these are done and you're going to want to turn them inside out yeah, so you can make sure you clean the inside or does somebody want to turn them inside out yeah See, this, I can see how these guys do turning it inside out with the water. Do you have any glass marbles or something? Mm -hmm. I'm flipping over the end to start turning it inside out. And then I'm putting the marble in there, like what she was telling us about with the rocks. If I can get it started. And then you just slide the marble down and it starts pulling it inside out. As you can see. Yay! Yay. Yeah, that. And uh, yeah, if they're short, you see that like that. See, the inside is, they no, have it's inside out. Yay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Wait, maybe. So how do you do that? Oh, hard. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, yeah. Your if I were going like this. If there's a hole, <laughs> that open it up. I got it, yeah, I got a little big hole. It's easier like this. Too hard. I'll mm -hmm. put it in somewhere. I'm to put one of those ones. I think they're clean. Well, they're the other side. Fold it. that the inside is one's easier than the other to scrape? The inside is easier than the outside. Yeah, that's what I would think too. Mm -hmm. yeah. your time you have to be patient even those are uh, mukluk ones you, you tear them when you're done scraping the whole intestine you use a glass bowl or a aluminum naga stainless steel bowl or enamel paint uh, uh, pot, not plastic. You put cold water, you use water not from, this one has chlorine. You make sure you use water from snow from outside or from the natural water with no chemicals in it. And then you fill that with water and, uh, and you put the intestine in there, and you put snow in there, and you make sure you put it where it's in a cool place, on the floor where it's cool, where it won't freeze. And then every day, 
you go change the water. You know, uh, ribbon seals and uh, walrus, after you scrape them and you look at them, they're pink. And the blood vessels have still blood in there. You're going to soak those every day. They don't smell like this, like you smell them. You make sure when you're doing that process that you don't skip one day. If you do, they're going to start smelling. Make sure your water is cold. If you keep it cold, you're going to start getting rid of that oily seal smell, not stinky. Let's see. I and then see how dirty it is in there. Now I can dump it. Somebody can change this water. See, see, it's not as clear. Mm -hmm. There's red. Now, this one's clean inside out. It's ready for soaking. I'll rinse it one more time. See? See? Getting better. I think right now I've done enough. What we could, I could do now is uh, put it in there and put snow. We'll let it soak, soak overnight, and we'll do the same thing again. We'll put snow in there and there until they're clear. Inspector Kingy Cook, I have to um, ask you. If <laughs> Don they're, wanted me to ask you if you thought these good. were ready. They're, they're they ready. look good. Yeah, they're ready. She, the he did a the good job. The inspector says the harbor seal is ready. <laughs> it's good. They're it's good. not smelly. It's no, good. it's not. They're clear, it's too. Smelly. They're ready, too. Thank too you. Mm -hmm. When they're clean and you blow them up and you hang them outdoors, you make sure it's not snowing out. If it's snowing, they're going to melt and you're going to bring them in. Or so just cold? Cold dry. Yeah. Dry. yeah. We have a, they make a little ivory spool, like a, a you know, a long time ago they had those spools, wooden spools. When I was growing, growing up, my ma, grandma had saved up all those wooden spools. And I wonder, don't throw them away. And I didn't know for what. And that's what she used. They're the same size. Yeah, we could probably yeah. hold it right fit. there. It's not going to fit. Just probably tie it right there. After. You put that in, and you blow air in it. You tie the end, and you, oh, you tie the other end first. <laughs> and I'll let her do all the work. First tie up on the other end, and then <clears throat> And while well, sometimes you, well, when you're doing a whole roll of intestines of a seal, and you don't know while you're cleaning it, you might have a little puncture in there, or the, uh, while they're cleaning, the men while they're cleaning, they accidentally put a tiny hole, and you don't know the tiny hole is in there until you're blowing air in it. When your long balloon can't blow too much air in it, eventually you know there's a hole, and you're gonna look for that hole. And when you find it, if it's if the hole is small, you can pinch it and use a thinner string, and you tie a little knot. And if it's restorable that way, you will do it. If it's too big, you, you have no choice but to snip it right there, and you can do two or three or whatever. <clears throat> and sometimes it may be you who 
scrape too hard and make that little hole. You're done. And then the next step, we'll let her hold it here and then she'll blow it up and then tie the end. <laughs> I'm letting her do all the work. Oops. There it is. <coughs> and then when you're done, you squeeze it. You have your rope already? If it's a real long one, oh, another person would help you. Oh, yeah. When they're like that, what we do is there's, you could have two, maybe there's a, yeah, then no wonder there's a hole right there. Oh, thanks to Mary. We're going to do this. This is warm, dried seal gut. And this is a small portion. What we do is we, this is barely snip off, pop it, it see, deflate it, and then I'll do the same to the other side. I'm going to do it as close as I could. I'll save those, and if I don't use them, I'll ask one of my relatives if they want to use them for something. Or I could snip this off, and I could dye that and use it as use it for a design for my baskets or whatever. Mm -hmm. After we're done, we flatten it, and we're gonna. I'm just gonna cut it. This is way I make sure it's flattened like that. That's, at least we could do it that way. And you snip it and might want to go to the other side so it will be even. See, after I cut it from that end, this is how it is. These are short, shorter ones. So can you re-wet them and then stretch them flatter? No. no. This is the aqsa. The stomach, mm -hmm. and uh, you don't want to cut them on the aqsa, the stomach. You might you cut them from the inside, right here, the walrus ones. And what would they do to is um, the walrus? They stretch them, so all the tendons are cut. You don't dry them like that. Dry yeah, them. you dry the longer so ones straight. and you yeah, stretch them and they'll be straight. Make sure they're straight. 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 Mm -hmm. straight. Mm -hmm. 